Hey, what's going on guys? Michael with Tech Eds here. Hope you're doing well. Now, some of you might have actually already noticed, but right next to me there, that's Portal 2 running on my iPad Pro. Now, don't get too excited because while it is actually completely playable, it's not running natively on the iPad. It's not a standalone app. It's, it's not some sort of funky jailbreak. The game itself is actually running off of the iMac behind me, and I'm using a really cool app called Duet Display, which I actually did a video on a couple weeks ago, to display the game on my iPad. Now Duet Display essentially lets you take any newer iPad or iPhone, connect it via the lightning cable to a Mac or PC, and then use that device as a secondary display. And there's zero latency, very little lag, it's not noticeable at all really. It's a super smooth experience, it's just like using a regular secondary monitor that you might use hooked up via Thunderbolt or HDMI or DisplayPort or whatever connector you wanted to use. It's a really great app. However, despite all of my testing I did for that review video, I never actually tried to play any games with it. I did lots of media playback, did some video scrubbing and Final Cut, but YouTuber Hardware Benchmark posted a comment on the video and essentially asked the question, hey, it's great, but can you play games like this? So that got me thinking, so I figured I'd do some different testing, and this is what I found out. So right off the bat, the answer is definitely yes. Duet Display is powerful enough, again, because of that super high data transfer rate with the lightning cable, that you can definitely move a game over to the screen and play it using that secondary display. However, you are gonna have to do some finagling of the video settings to pull this off. The first example, I booted up Portal 2, and the first thing I had to do was actually take the game out of full screen mode and put it into a window mode and knock the resolution down really low so the window was small enough that when I moved it over to the iPad, it wasn't distorted and it was easy to access the menu. Once I got it over there, I was able to blow it back up into full screen and then adjust the resolution accordingly until it looked nice on the screen. In addition to that, I also had to go in and lower the graphics settings. I had them on high when it was playing it on my iMac. Over on the iPad side, I had to lower them to medium and occasionally low to get a smoother playback when it was actually on the iPad. Now, this is obviously gonna be completely dependent on what game you're playing and what kind of GPU horsepower you have under the hood of your main rig. Now, once I got all the settings set up, everything was fine. It was smooth playing with the keyboard and mouse, no lag, no latency. It was just like I was playing it on a smaller laptop. But while the portal situation went fairly well, the second game that I tried, which was the newest version of SimCity, had a few more problems, and primarily, once I got the game over to my iPad, I couldn't put it into full screen mode and have the game playable, primarily because my mouse clicks didn't register where I was clicking. They were always off, no matter what I did with the resolution or the window size. Um, it, it just didn't work. The, the mouse clicks were out of alignment and no tweaking in the settings could seem to fix that. So I ended up having to always play the game in a window mode and not in full screen, but I was able to get the resolution high enough that it was almost full screen. And once I got to that point, everything played pretty normally. Keyboard and mouse, again, all worked flawlessly. The games run the way they're meant to run. It's just on a smaller screen. So that being said, while yeah, you can definitely play a game using Duet Display, I don't really know why you want to do this. I don't know what situation would come up where you go, oh yeah, I'll play the game on this secondary display when you're out and about using a laptop or whatever. Whenever you have your primary machine in front of you, in my mind, that's the machine that you'd be wanting to play the game on and everything else that was secondary would be on the other screen. But if the situation does come up, at least you know Duet Display can handle it. And in my opinion, that's just one more reason why this app is definitely worth the money and you should go check it out. So that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to do us a huge favor, please leave us a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for future videos and we'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.